I'd like uh, to talk about what's happening with the Iraqi government because we have word that Nuri al-Maliki has been pushed out. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, it looks like it is underway, no doubt about it, Carol. Things are moving extremely quickly here in Iraq. The president has nominated a new prime minister. His name is Haider al-Albadi. He's a Shia politician. He's a member of Nouri al-Maliki's party. He's also a, a former aide of the prime minister. Now, the United States has come out and welcomed this news of the new nomination. He has 30 days to form a government and if approved by an absolute majority, he will then be Prime Minister. But as I say, things are moving extremely quickly. So whilst he has a month, this could happen within days. Uh, but until that time, Carol, Nouri al-Maliki is still the Prime Minister, which really I guess puts into context what we have been seeing over the past few hours. You know, he came out and and bolstered the number of troops, uh, special forces and tanks around government buildings in the green zone in Baghdad as a, a form of an intimidation, if you like, uh, to the president and his uh, political opponents. Uh, and he also took to state television this morning with a, a fiery message saying that he intends to, to be prime minister for a third term. The concern here, uh, Carol, is that he will use military force, that he will carry out a military coup, if you like, because he is still commander in chief and the troops, uh, you know, some of them are still, uh, or are still loyal to him. So that, 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 of course, is the concern in Baghdad, that this could potentially disintegrate if he decides to go down that route. But US Secretary of State John Kerry has come out told Maliki not to cause problems, not to cause any trouble, and that to allow this constitutional process uh, to, to carry out.